Welcome back to Kai Talks. I'm Kai Ninja, and I am super pumped to get this podcast started. Let's cut to the chase. This is a Kai Talks. Kai Talks. See what I did there? Yep, there are no guests today. It's just me, my thoughts, and my opinion. Today, we're going to talk about autism. It's just basically having a brain that works differently. People with ASD often have problems with social communication and interaction and restricted to repetitive behaviors or interests. People with ASD may also have different ways of learning, moving, or paying attention. So today, I talk about my experience as an autistic person, what works for me, and a message to my fellow autistic people. As you probably already know, I am an autistic person, and I'm proud of it, and I don't mind talking about it. I was diagnosed before I was turned free. My teacher saw I wasn't able to speak and do certain things. And she told my parents to get help. Some of those say that autism is scary. But I'm here to tell all those around the globe that is not true. Think of autistic kids as a box. And inside the box are kids' talents, sense of humor, emotions, and all the things that make the kids who they are. Some adults are scared to open the box. My mom was in the beginning. But she realized if she opened the box, it would make me feel amazing. With the help of early intervention, my parents were able to have access to thousands of hours of support. Over the last nine years, I had occupational therapists to help me with my fine and gross motor challenges. Speech therapists to help me learn and speak clearly to express myself clearly. ABA interventionalists that helped me deal with my school schedule, my sensory challenges in a different social setting. My talk therapist that helped me deal with my anxiety, my emotions, and being bullied. So I can see, I had a variety of tools which made me content and happy. Being autistic is not easy. But the secret is, being autistic makes you strong because you have to go through a lot of things that other people don't have to do. For example, when I was little, I was not able to speak as quickly as other kids around the same age. It took me longer to develop the ability to talk. But now, I am able to speak in public. I have some friends, and I'll be able to to speak in large social settings, as long as I'm prepared. I am able to embrace my autism, and I love being me. As an autistic person, my dream is to inspire other autistic people, people with different abilities, and anyone who feels like an outcast. Because honestly, back when I was little, I felt like an outcast the same. I want those people to be themselves, love themselves, and fight for themselves. Autistic people, we are bo- we are just born this way, and we are intended to be. We are not broken. We are different. And I believe God created us this way so we can add color to the world, so we can teach the world to be kind and embrace all people. I feel like I can do anything with my team, my therapist, my mom, my dad, all my loving family, and my friends. Autism is not scary. It is not a bad thing. It is a good thing because the world needs a bunch of different people and different talents, abilities, and brains with different ideas. Early intervention was hard for me sometimes, but in life we have to do hard things and to get where we need to be. And now that I can speak, I can help people with my voice. What works for me may not have worked for every autistic kid, But one thing I know is every autistic kid deserves love, support, and acceptance. My autistic friends, do not be scared. Be yourself, love yourself, and keep marching to your own drum. Taking the road less traveled. Thank you all for listening and watching today. I hope you loved this episode, and I and I hope that I gave you a different perspective on what being an autistic person is like. Thank you for watching.